Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending August the 13th, 2021. Hey, Friday the 13th calls for us to talk about canaries in the coal mine, okay? So last week I went back and, uh, and discussed uh, pieces of uh, cyclical sectors that had, uh, had rotated into the lagging area. Uh, thereby indicating, uh, you know, a, a pullback reminiscent of the things that they that they did back in 2015. It looked like the same type of thing, and so uh, that trend is holding true again this week. So that's canary in the coal mine number one. All right, those specific cyclical sectors that I talked about, uh, and and this week we're seeing if, if you look at overall cyclicals versus defensive if you take all the sectors of the S&P 500 and divide them into cyclical versus defensive we're looking at a rollover in those um, I, I, it, it's a, it's a long-term trend I'll put a citation of our source citation if you want to explore it more in the uh, in the video description but for now just just understand it like this this has been going on for quite a while with certain blurbs okay certain certain uh, points to where uh, the cyclical versus defensive ratio broke out and the S&P 500 uh, was doing well and the S&P 500 has been uh, up even though that these are breaking out but those have now rolled over yet again the other breakout on this was a few months back uh, in the spring in the uh, spring and, uh, and 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 then we have a pullback. These are pulling back now. We're trying to view these as a leading indicator, perhaps uh, putting the the thought in our head to be very careful about S and P 500, uh, perhaps rolling over here. We've got we're halfway through Q3. We've got six weeks until the end of the fiscal year, and then beginning of Q4 2021. And we've already dealt with pretty high price earnings multiples, so this is something to watch out for um, as we as we continue to close that out. Now, canary in the coal mine number three is the ten-year yields. Okay, um, some of this is driven a lot by by foreign money coming back in because emerging markets are are well lagging behind developed countries, but uh, so that fear money is coming in, but it's not all foreign money. So the fear trade is still out there in the words of Franklin Roosevelt. I suppose the stock markets right now, the only thing that they have to fear is fear itself because we've seen the 10-year hitting 139 last week and then pulling back, uh, you know, 136 and then even, even going back down to 135 and change uh, this morning uh, as we're midway through the trading day uh, today. But that's, that's kind of how this is uh, ending up for the week. So you've got... You've got cyclicals and defensive, and you, you've got, if you look at the, uh, yet another, I, I, I like to talk about groups of three, but yet if I scoot back to number one canary, or number two canary in a coal mine, uh, it's not only just the S&P 500, but the broader participation, the Russell 2000, continues to hit resistance, okay? Banged its head off uh, on, on, a, on a daily basis, the 50-day uh, for four times, and then and then on a weekly, three times on the 20-day, 20-day uh, weekly moving average, 50-day daily moving average. Uh, so it would be the 20-week moving average, I suppose, uh, that it's hitting its head on. But anyway, those are strong resistance levels, and you would have liked to have seen it just pierce through and continue to rolling if we were strong and just going forward. That's not happening, so that's why I'm saying canaries in the coal mine. So enjoy the rest of your summer. Not trying to sound like Chicken Little, just saying if you need some help, reach out and call us because we keep an eye on the markets and we're going to take care of our clients' money. And uh, that being said, stay happy and I'll see you next time.